it is so directed, we now go back to the debate on the presidential address. <laughs> Yes, the Honorable Wandai. Yes, the Speaker, I, I have I listened keenly uh, to your ruling on this contentious issue. Uh, whereas, of course, I don't agree with it, I would wish, would wish to acknowledge the fact that this house uh, has operates in a quasi-judicial manner. And therefore, in line with the rules of natural justice, tenets of democracy, and established jurisprudence, I would wish that, I would wish to give notice that we shall be moving, Mr. Speaker, shall be moving you to review your decision. And for that reason, Mr. Speaker, I'll be asking you to give me opportunity to make uh, certain submissions or to make an application uh, for you to review your decision, which is obviously, obviously in line with the established uh, jurisprudential uh, practice. I I will be again asking you to direct the clerk to facilitate my coalition with the certified copies of your ruling, if possible, by close of business today. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I say this I, with tremendous respect to your office and to the institution of parliament. Mr. Speaker, it's important for us to establish a culture, a culture of openness, uh, transparency, and indeed to work consciously towards entrenching democracy and the rule of law. So I will be asking Mr. Speaker to allow me uh, to make that application formally at the earliest possible opportunity. Mr. Speaker, I'm okay. seeking leave. In short. Order, honorable members. Honorable members, in the tradition of the House, under our standing orders and practice, once the Speaker makes a ruling such as the one I have made, is not subject to debate, it is not appealable and it stands as it is. I want to take the opportunity, the Honorable Wandai, and all members of the House, to salute you and thank you for the decorum that you have exhibited through the close to one hour that I delivered the ruling. I want to encourage the House that uh, a decision has been made, let the chips lie where they fell, take up your offices, Cut out a robust and vibrant uh, oversight of the government and make sure that public resources from taxpayers are put to good use, audit them vigorously, and make sure that you do everything possible within the law to ensure that uh, we have a responsible parliament with both sides being responsive to the needs of the people of Kenya. There will be no further debate on this matter. You know the rules. You are all very senior members, uh, honorable members. And uh, the new colleagues who have come in want to learn from you and don't give them uh, misdirections on procedure. I want now to go to the next order that we had abandoned uh, to take the ruling, and I'll give the floor to the honorable member Abdikader Muhammad of Lagdera. On the same matter, 